Let me start recording this. Okay, so hi guys. Um, happy Wednesday. Thank you for popping on. Um, I know it was a little bit, not last minute, but we had to shuffle a little bit because our speaker canceled. Um, and one of the things I love about this business, I literally just posted in a couple leadership groups and was like, my speaker canceled. We were supposed to do it on inviting. Can anyone help me? And Lilius, who I didn't even know how to say her name when I got on this call, like that's how little I knew her. Seriously, you guys, we allegedly, not allegedly, we live in the same area. So she was like, oh, I've seen you at Super Saturday events, but I didn't even know she was a coach until she responded to my posts. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's like one of the things I love about this business is she was willing to help me even though she didn't know me from anyone either, right? And I was thrilled to have the help. Um, so I just, I'm so excited that we were able to get her on this call and I'm actually really, really excited for the topic. So, um, she's also a little bit type a, like me, she sent me over a presentation, which you guys know slides are my life. So I was so happy when she was like, I have a presentation. And I was like, Oh, you have a presentation. Um, so Lilius is a four star diamond. She's a success club legend. Um, she was featured on the We Are Team Beach Body podcast they did a few weeks ago, weeks ago, years ago. She's a registered nurse um, and she was able to leave her job after working in the business for five months because she wanted to be home with her kids. So I think that's an amazing story. Um, you know, whatever you want to do in this business is what you should do. So I'm really psyched for her that if she wanted to be home with her kids, she was able to make that happen in five months. That's pretty freaking amazing. And she's not only going to talk to us about inviting tonight, but inviting with third party tools. Um, some of you might not know what that means, but it's basically like using things that either are available to us because other coaches made them or available in the back office. Instead of you, um, like when someone asks you a question, do you ever feel like you guys like word vomit? You're like, uh, and then you just start like spewing information at the person and using these tools instead of doing that. So I'm going to go on mute and let her take it away. So thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Um, my very best friend from when I was in preschool's name is Jillian. So I always have like a special place in my heart. <laughs> they used to call us Jill and Lil. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And I'm really excited about this topic because this is a relatively new process that I think, think the whole network is sort of finding our new way with how everyone's running our businesses, just in response to social media, people in general, their attention spans. And um, this is something that um, has really been effective. And I hope that it gives you some actionable items. Um, so as Jillian said, um, I'm a full-time coach now. I was working in pharmaceuticals and that was boring to me because I wanted to have something that allowed me to truly help people. And um, being a nurse, I know what it's like to have a job that fills your heart and soul. And when I found coaching, I signed up for the discount, <laughs> found 21 Day Fix and just saw how amazing that was to help people and just ran with it. So um, what I love about coaching is that we get to choose how we're going to run our business and we can either let that paralyze us by saying like, I don't know what to do, or we can decide what we want our day and our life to look like. And then we can find ways to, you know, fill color in the lines, if you will, and make, you know, fill that out and make it a reality. So I hope that using these third party tools, it may like kind of fill in some of like the puzzle pieces that you guys are looking for. Um, if you guys do take a picture, you can tag me on Instagram. We do that a lot in our team, um, you know, when we have guest speakers or whatever. So feel free to do that. Um, okay. So how many people, give me a show of hands, how many of you um, actually know what third-party tools are, feel like you use them? Anybody? Or right in the chat, kind of, sort of? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, I should be able to share my screen.
I'm a little tech challenged, so <laughs> don't mind me. Okay, now I think I have to make this full screen, right? Yay, there we go. Um, just move things around. I was laughing when Jillian was saying she could tell I was a little type A. That's the nurse in me. I love systems. Um, as a nurse, you have to have systems, and I love being to apply that part of my brain to coaching as well. So why third-party tools? Well, they're going to simplify the invite process for you, and you're going to say less, like how Jillian was saying. Like, do you ever feel like you're word vomiting? Someone asks you about the program, and then it just immediately... 30 minute workouts, portion control containers, car, how many carbs a day, um, awesome group, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like saying all these things and then it's like a million pages long and then they're not even gonna look at it. They're gonna get overwhelmed and then you wonder why they don't sign up. Well, third party tools is an amazing solution for that. And what I really like about it is a lot of coaches on my team work. They don't have time to be answering every single step of the process with their own words, even copying, pasting, because you can't really copy paste. So what I say for third-party tools is let the third-party tools give the information and you use your precious time to build relationships and create connection. And, and that's what your words should be used for. And let the third-party third tools talk about the products, talk about coaching, talk about the group. And you're gonna have a variety of third-party tools. But before we get started, um, I'm a huge fan in personal development, um, pretty much the only person besides the National Wake Up Calls that I um, listen to now and apply their principles in my life is someone, have you, has anyone here heard of Jim Fortin? Have you heard of him at all? Do you listen to the James Wedmore podcast ever? Um, well, Jim Fortin was on there and um, he's all about um, using your subconscious mind to create success in your life. And this is a quote that he said on one of the um, on a free training that I did with him. But success is purely a matter of character, and people think that success is all these different things. It's the X factor. It's knowing how to talk to people. It's being an extrovert. It's having a six pack abs, and that is absolutely not true. It's just purely a matter of character and being the person that you want to be, and making sure that when you have a goal, that you're being a person and becoming that person on the way towards the goal and understanding that, that you have to have alignment there. We can't just wake up one day and decide that we're gonna be 15 star diamond coach. So this is just, um, before you start using third party tools and start working your business, you have to decide that you're going to be a coach and you have to make the commitment. You have to take ownership of what you did or did not do. And you have to have self-integrity and self-integrity is simply keeping a promise to yourself. And I think that these three things often like one sort of piece of the puzzle is kind of missing. And then people wonder why their businesses don't move forward. So when we talk about using third party tools, we're going to assume that we're being a coach. And what is being a coach? Well, it's the vital behaviors. Are you following a beach body program? Not just doing the workouts. Are you doing the meal plan? Are you following the workout calendar? Are you sharing that journey on social media? Are you talking about things on social media that your person, that your tribe wants to talk about? And if someone goes to your Instagram page, are, are those posts gonna speak for you? I feel like that's really been something that I'm hearing from the people that are signing up with me. They're like, oh, I went to your page and I read what you wrote and I just felt like you were speaking to me. So your social media is a third party tool because whether you know it or not, and you can think about that yourself, if you follow someone, your coach perhaps, you felt like she was speaking to you before you even signed up for her. You felt like you knew her. You felt like you trusted her before you maybe even had any sort of conversation for her. So you have to have that foundation. Also, you have to have belief. You have to have belief that what you're doing is going to get you where you want to go. You have to have that alignment that if I commit to these actions, that it's going to get me, if it's that income goal, um, that fitness journey goal, like whatever it is, and let those actions just, just be your seat of belief. Just don't overthink it. When your coach tells you to do something, just 
do it. And I think that's where a lot of people get stuck is they don't believe, so they don't do it. And then it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, business development and growth development are, sorry, business development and personal development are how I personally built belief in myself. And, you know, you take those small actions and they add up and maybe you have a $30 paycheck and then you have a hundred dollar paycheck and then you have a $500 paycheck and then you have a $2,000 paycheck and you're like, Oh, and at one of those points in time, you're going to go, Oh, okay. And I think everyone has a little bit of that, that tipping point where we really all of a sudden believe, because I don't think every coach signs up and is like, Oh yeah, this is, this is going to be for me. And cause you're not going to put the time and effort in if you don't believe. Right. And then the final is tracking your business activities. Um, are you doing the net these well, on our team, we use a networking power hour, a connection power hour, and an invite power hour. Anything that you see on here, like Jillian said, like that, this is what I love about Beachbody, just like the openness. So I'm happy to share any document or anything that, that we talk about here. If you guys want to see it, either put it in the chat um, and I can put together stuff and send it to Jillian. Um, because just remembering it's not, it's not just the invite. It's not just posting on social media, hey, who wants to join my group? It's your habits that are the foundation behind that. You don't get what you want. You, you get what your habits give you. So what are third-party tools? And then um, where can you find them? So we have some that are naturally available to us in the coach office. So anytime you go into your um, grow my business, what is it, Med uh, media, product tools, whatever, when you go in there and you send someone the video, for ultimate portion fix or for um, the work or whatever, that is a third party tool because you're not having to explain to them, oh, it's this really great nutrition plan and um, you can use it whether you're doing a beach body program or whatever, like you just send them the video and they will watch the whole video and you don't have to explain any piece of it. Um, your, your challenge group is actually a third party tool as well. Because within your challenge group, you should be talking about collagen, pumpkin spice, new programs coming out, and all of those things. And then your other discount coaches and your challengers are going to talk about all these things. And they're basically going to be your third-party tool and sell things for you. So it's not just videos. It's not just graphics. It's any way that you are getting information in front of people without actually having to use your – they're not hearing it from you. They're seeing that it's available to everyone. So um, yeah, on my team, I created in um, iMovie, that's what it's called, <laughs> um, a challenge group third-party tool. It's just a quick four-minute video, and I had two coaches on my team um, give a, it was like a 45-second little overview on why they love a challenge group and what it has done for them. And then I meshed it with the Beachbody On Demand um, little sizzle video. And it's just like that's and it just basically is like workout at home, nutrition plans, but really the stories from the challengers are the important piece. So I just made that an iMovie and it's a quick four minute video. And then we have the coaching video that Brooke Lipoff has made. And then again, what I did was we just had coaches on our team share their story in a few minutes or less and then tack that onto the beginning of Brooke's call. So you can use things that are already made, not her call, her video, use things that are already made um, like the product toolkits that are in your coach online office. Um, you can use those things or you can create your own. So I've done a lot of making graphics with pricing options, um, even explaining the discount option, even checklists and new challenger emails. Those are all third party tools because you don't have to use your time making them. And I also let people know that these are created for them and I'll slide in little comments like, oh yeah, I, we just, for the team, um, I just have a quick um, email I can send you. This is available to everyone on the team. So they know that you're not sitting there typing out these emails every time someone <laughs> signs up for something. Um, text replacement is an awesome third party tool. I use that on Instagram to welcome people to my um, new followers to my page. Um, 
And then you can also use communities, as I said, your challenge group, but you can also use sneak peeks. You can create a separate Instagram page, which is something I just started doing. And I've had one person sign up as a coach, like complete cold market through that Instagram page, which was, I didn't know what to expect from that, but I think it's like, you just got to try it, see what happens. Um, your team page is a third party tool and your upline coach is a third party tool because if you are uncomfortable with a conversation, if you're a newer coach, you can just say, hey, can I just bring my upline coach into this conversation? And then they're seeing how we work together as a team that you don't have to have all the answers right away. So um, I think you're just showing every single person who comes into your space that they don't have to have all the answers too. Can I think I there's a lot of background on this. Does someone, is someone unmuted? I'm getting a lot of thumping or something. Uh, hold on. I, I can't read. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Oh, man. My, it's okay. Oh, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I was getting like thumping in my left ear. I don't see anyone unmuted. Um, I was going to ask you, um, I don't know if anyone put this in the chat, but is there any way you could share the links to all the third party tools? The ones, obviously yeah. your upline coach doesn't have a link. I don't mean that, but like, yeah, no, I'll show all you the stuff so, that you have created so we can either use them or go through and create our own. Um, yeah. Based on what you created. Cause it sounds, I, I do use like a lot of the pricing graphics you talked about and I don't create those cause that is not my forte. If, if I try to create something, it looks like my dog did it. So I stopped doing that. I just use what other people post, but it'd be great if you had like videos and stuff, that'd be really helpful. Yeah. I'll show you my Google doc and I'll just copy paste it and you guys can use off it what you want. Um, so then just talking about the invite process, just giving a little overview, overview. And I also have, um, we ha we use an invite document that goes through, um, I can share that under the call too. If you guys take a look at it and if you like it, I can share the link to that with you because it's a living document, which I have realized works a lot better because I feel like we're always learning new things. So instead of like making like a nice, pretty graphic, I'm like, you know what, we're just going to use the link for this Google Doc and I can go in there and update it every freaking day if I want to. And then everyone's going to have the most real time, um, you know, information available to them rather than going in and editing it. But um, so we use this invite document, but this is just some of the scripts that you can find in there. And obviously we all have to speak in our own voice, but um, it's just about starting conversations and you're going to start a conversation 